Hello and welcome back to the PyBytes YouTube channel. And today I'm going to show you a video how you can generate your own certificate with a template file and writing your own text on it uh, using the pillow library. Uh, we're also going to upload the certificate to an S3 bucket using PyBytes tools. So a lot to cover, let's dive straight in. So I already started a project with uh, requirements.in file and a requirements text. I actually used pip tools to um, to manage the dependencies. I will do a separate video on that to focus on pillow in this video. And let's just walk through the script. I mean, it would take quite some time to uh, live code all this, so I will just walk through it. So I got the imports um, split it by standard library and external packages. Um, I even reused one tool of ours, PyBytes tools, and specifically the upload um, to S3, because we're not going to, going to generate the certificate, we're also going to upload it to an S3 bucket. Uh, I set a couple of constants here, and then I have a couple of functions, right? So I got some helpers, which I did um, indicate with underscore, download file, add text, and then the main function is create certificate, and then at the bottom, we have an entry point to the script, uh, if name equals main. If you're new to that, uh, see this video here, what that means. Uh, I set a template and I call the function. Now for the template, I did a bit of Googling and I tried to find one that was on our Creative Commons license, so free to use. And I came up with this one, which you can see here. Uh, and the link was quite, quite long, so I pulled it through a URL shortener and that gave me this. So that's that image. And yeah, let's dive into code. So create certificate. It takes a template, URL, and a name. And actually, I had my own name here, but I changed it to Portuguese name because I also wanted to make sure that accents were working well. All right, so create certificate, uh, two positional arguments, template, and name. And then I use a star, and that means any argument after the star, you need to give us a um, keyword argument. So you need to give it like name vertical offset equals something. If you don't provide it, it will just be um, using the default of 550. Now, of course, this value will change. It's the uh, offset from the top. Uh, and so it depends the certificate template you give it, right? Maybe you want the name at the top or at the bottom or somewhere in the middle, so that offset I think it's in pixels will change. Um, I will do a separate video on arguments. I think that's very useful um, to see what kinds of arguments there are. Let's focus on the code. So create certificate with name using template PNG URL. Offset depends on certificate, as what I just explained. Um, we're going to download the template. So I have a little helper, download file. By default, it's going to store it in destination temp, which isn't constant. And it uses a request library to uh, to write the file to the temp directory. Then I'm going to title case the name. I'm going to do some cleanup because I want to use the cleaned name in the file name, the the output file name. And I'm also going to use a random string using UUID four. Um, so I think I had that on the platform to uh, to not clobber uh, existing files or have every file be unique. I guess you could also use time, the time module to have a unique timestamp uh, like this, but UUID is nice to get a random string as well. Okay, so here we get into the pillow stuff. So image comes from the pillow library and we open the template, we convert it to RGBA and uh, we make a new target image file as well uh, with the base size which is calculated from the base image. And then I call my helper add text. So add text, get the image, the base, the name of the person and the vertical offset. And if we go into that, can use the same trick of positional arguments and anything after the star becomes keyword arguments. Um, and here I define my font, um, which by default is a default font. Now I use uh, New York TTF, which is on my Mac. Um, for Windows, you might have other default fonts. You can also use Arial, whatever you have, or you can download one from the web and store it, uh, I think in a fonts folder locally, that would also work. And if not, you can also write some request code to just download the file. 
Then I'm going to define a draw context, uh, image draw object. And then we're going to calculate the width of the actual text we pass in. So that's the name. And then I use a bit of Stack Overflow to calculate the, to, to center the uh, the text. And then we we write the text on the canvas, right? So this helper is purely to add the text on the image canvas. Then we're going to make an image object uh, and we save it to a file. Uh, that's a temporary file, right? So out file would be temp directory slash name of the file. And we have it when we have it locally saved in temp, then we're going to upload it to S3. And that's that helper function from the PyBytes tools package, which you can find here. Um, and here's the code of that. So it works with a couple of environment variables, the AWS key secret and region, which I have set in a .m file. When I did a tree, it was not listing hidden files, but actually there are more files. And you would typically set these environment variables. So you need to specify the access key, access secret access key, the S3 bucket, and the region. And that's the template file. And these secret keys are in my local.m file, which I have get ignored. So then we uh, upload the file to S3, we remove the local file and we return the S3 URL. So let's see if that works. That indeed uploaded it to the Python PyBytes test bucket. And there you go. Here's the template with the name written on top of it with the New York font. And that's it. That's how you can write text on a template file using Pillow. I will uh, put this code on GitHub so you can use it. Um, it requires these dependencies, um, but you see that also in the requirements.txt file. And yeah, that's again what I really like uh, from pip tools that it creates the requirements.txt for you based on a requirements.in file. And it tells you exactly where dependencies are coming from, right? So uh, Boda3 is actually coming from PyBytes tools. Certify is coming from requests, et cetera. Hope it's useful. Hope uh, this can help you when you want to create some sort of certificate or image file with text on it yourself. Hope this code will help you with that. And I think there are some nice follow-up videos we can do. We can add a command line interface to this with Typer. You can also make an API uh, because now we have some sort of service, right? We have a, a way to generate certificates and we could actually add multiple interfaces. So command line API to almost make this like a micro microservice. So if you're interested in that, comment below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.